Media Maker here. Uh, this video is going to serve as a final report on an experiment I've been doing, which I've done a couple uh, recent videos on lately. Uh, this is a hand watered hydroponic tomato, and it's uh, done without any pumps of any kind no air pumps, no timers, nothing of the sort. And uh, I consider this to be a successful experiment. Um, I've had a lot of questions and, and a lot of PMs ask me different questions on this, so I'm going to try to fill in some of the blanks. Uh, to start off with, this plant is a Husky Cherry Red Hybrid Indeterminate Tomato Plant. And it's a special kind of tomato plant in that it's called an ISI or Indeterminate Short Internode. And what that means is that the distance between the nodes on a uh, tomato has been dropped in half on this plant. So. And for example, this plant uh, on October 11th was 40 inches tall. It very well could have been if it had been a non-ISI plant around 80 inches tall, which obviously I don't have the room for uh, in this room. So that's one of the blanks I wanted to fill in. Uh, I also want to let you know some of the setbacks and some of the uh, fixes. Uh, the first setback was uh, I let the room temperature at nighttime get too high, and that caused blossoms to drop. So after I... Um, remedied that situation, the plant started to come back in line and it started producing tomatoes again. Um, after that was I got into where I was trying so hard not to have any waste water come out the bottom, I was actually not giving it quite enough, so I had to step up the amount of uh, nutrient liquids I was giving it. And that turned around and that fixed that problem. Uh, then I came into another problem where I started having flower drop again and uh, based on recommendation from my friend Paul Dayton Hydroponics uh, instead of dropping the nutrients for the grow as um, indicated by General Hydroponics I leveled everything out so I had the same amount of total milliliter of nutrients but I had I evened out and used four milliliters of grow micro and the bloom instead of one four and seven so that's what fixed that problem but uh, and everything's growing well now. It's even bigger than that now. So I just thought I'd share that all with you. Now we've reached the part of the video where I get to give something away. In this video, I'm giving away a solar dancing flower. To enter to win the solar dancing flower, just post a comment and add the words dancing flower entry at the end of your comment. If you'd like to leave a comment but not be part of the giveaway, just leave a comment without the words dancing flower entry at the end of your comment. I'd like to congratulate D0Mine11 on winning the last video's giveaway. Uh, Larry won a two-gallon smart pot. Congratulations. And I'd like to thank you all for watching. Bye.